We had the good fortune to visit Aintra Prabhu's Samadhi in Vrindavan. His Samadhi is actually his old room in the Krishna Balaram Mandir, and there the devotees continued to worship his many Shalagram Shilas and personal deities while maintaining the 24-hour Kirtan. We were able to ask the devotees who maintained the worship some questions around philosophy and the maintenance of the service. So we have around like 2700 saligrams here. 2700. 2700. Oh. And they all get a drop yeah. of water, no? Yeah, they all get bed, oil, massage, all the 16 of Pasharas. Every day? Yeah, every day. to do alone, now we are like four or five of us, <laughs> us we do. He used to do it. He used to finish uh, like 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning, night. How many hours would he spend? Well, like he, most, most of the time he used to chant yeah. and like he used to start deity worship in the evening mm -hmm. after his 6.30 kirtan. And you know how many hours he would take to worship all the deities? Like in my calculation, like mental isolation, if I do it alone, then it takes me five, six hours uh, to finish everything. So he was doing alone, he must be. And this is a deity of Srimati Radharani? Yeah, and uh, for all Srimati we have Srimati Radharani. Mm. And uh, on the right side, Gopijana Vallava. These are the main Pradhan deities. He used to worship them. Gopijana Vallava and uh, Radharani and Ananda Manjai. She is covered with some flowers. So what happened when I recorded this video is that one of the servants, Paranini Thai Prabhu, forbid me to film the Ananga Manjari and Radharani Shilas as they had not been painted in a long time. So I arranged a second meeting with him the next day. So Prabhu, I was wondering, I never really understood what is actually a Samadhi. What is a Samadhi? Yeah, how is it different from an uh, ordinary grave, I say? <laughs> well, the person is not ordinary, so mm -hmm. the idea is that if, if, if he's Krishna conscious, 100% Krishna conscious, then his body is not material anymore. You know? Mm -hmm. It's still a material body, right? But the iron rod, when in the fire, becomes red hot and becomes non-different to the fire. It's still an iron rod, mm -hmm. but because it's in the fire, it's now exactly like the fire. It has the same qualities. It, it has the same qualities, heat, light, you know. It's still an iron rod, but an iron rod that's not in the fire is just an iron rod. Yeah, but an iron rod in the fire is a red hot iron rod. So these iron rods, <laughs> you know, like Prabhupada and Srila Bhakti Siddhanta and Ainapu, they're iron rods. And who's the fire? The fire is Krishna. Mm -hmm. So they're iron rods in that fire. And so because that iron rod is in the fire, that body is not material anymore. It's not just iron. It's very hot iron. Yeah. And on a practical term, if someone enters Samadhi, his body is not burned, right? It's But is there any is there any process of preserving the body or you just, they just... No, they put just put salt. Yeah. And yeah. They just... They just you know. Yeah, a bit like like the Egypt. No, no, we don't do that. No, no, <laughs> no, no, not, not, not so, but they also... They don't put something up the nose and pull out all the... No, no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> anyway, like the Egypts thought that they only can attain immortality by making the body immortal, right? Yeah, so this is a flaw in there. It's philosophy. Yeah. Yeah, but but the, the body is preserved with salt. Sorry? The body is still preserved with salt when, when, with when salt. the... You know, even even in Christianity, they had a few saints who left their bodies, mm -hmm. and just their body would not decompose. Yeah, yeah. it's there. It's 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 recorded in history. You can you can mm -hmm. see this. So you know, I mean, we don't know. We're not gonna yeah, dig up and find out. You know, <laughs> like, of hey, did it decompose? <laughs> <laughs> But also one thing you should understand is that as much as we are not these bodies, mm -hmm. even the guru is also not his body, yeah. you know, and he's taken a form to come and to do things in this material world and to teach us as an acharya. So he comes in a body exactly like ours. It eats, it sleeps, it, you know, evacuates and mm. does everything that we do. 
you know, and, and that's to because otherwise we have no frame of reference mm-hmm. to understand how to be Krishna conscious. Mm-hmm. So the guru comes in this way, so that. But if you get attached to the body of the guru, then also your understanding is a little flawed. It's, it's not like he's gone. You know, it's not like Vaishnavas don't die; they live in sound. We can say they live in consciousness. <laughs> mm. Key reasons ill who says that yeah. Vaishnavas. Yeah. Is, yeah. Why should dies to, dies to live and lives to spread the holy, the holy name? Holy name around, yeah, exactly. Mm. You know, for the message to come through, you have to be completely transparent. And also, you get attached to your spiritual master because of his transparency, mm. and you get attached to his spiritual master and his spiritual ma- because of their transparency, mm. because the only vastu, you know, what vastu means the only object of devotion mm-hmm. is Krishna. Nothing else. They don't cheat. No, no propensity for cheating. Yeah, yeah. Although, though, Prabhupada said once that I have cheated you. That, <laughs> that I told you it's, it will be easy. <laughs> <laughs> so we talked like almost two hours about all types of subjects, like Indra Prabhu's book, the circumstances of his departure, and his understandings about the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. I felt quite uplifted after our Sadhu Sangha session. What's your YouTube channel? So I can check. Journey you of... Edit, you edit out. <laughs> <laughs> edit out. What is it? Journey of Self-Discovery KC. Journey I can see Andrew Prabhu is timeless. Yeah, no time. 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 No